So when I signed with Hyperlite years back, uh, I got the opportunity to design my own pro model board and I got to work with um, Aaron and we absolutely, you know, killed it with the, the first shape. Um, it was a popular board. Um, I had a lot of, you know, a lot of success on that board and it came time to design, you know, my second, my second shape. And I was nervous because I didn't really, you know, I didn't really know what direction I wanted to go because of how great, I, like how much I loved my original board. I was stoked when I got the call to work with Rusty again on this new shape. You know, it, was, it was a bit of a challenge after coming off the last Merrick. It was such a successful shape for him and you know for the company as well. First, you know, I went through Rusty and asked him what were some of the aspects that he really wanted to keep in the board. And you know, the first thing he, he really likes the pop. So we had to keep a similar rocker line, but he did want to do some adjustments to it. We moved some of the the stages of the rocker out towards the tip and flatten the the center out a little bit to speed it up but yet give it a better pop. So my new shape is still an abrupt continuous rocker. Uh, Aaron did some you know different ideas with the uh, two stage channel down the center of the whole board. Uh, softer landings, still got the uh, fins on a nine, nine degree angle. Some of the features we changed were the bottom features. A lot of, they're a lot more flowing features. They're not as hard lined. We have two channels off the center that are deeper to take some of the volume out of the board to make a lighter board and, and give it some lift off the wake. The all new Merrick features two core options this year, the traditional BioLite core and also our Nova core, which has been improved for 2012. Uh, the way we did this was by adding an E-Core stringer, which is our most durable wood core material, from tip to tail, which greatly increases the strength of the board. With the wood stringer, it allowed us to reduce some of the other core materials because you get a lot of strength from that wood stringer, and we were able to go thinner on this board, take that volume out, and still have a light board, and yet have it really strong. That uh, wood stringer adds about 50% more strength to that board than this, the traditional Nova Core. Um, on the Nova Core, come with the track system with a super wide stance, wider than uh, you've ever had on any other board. This year, with the Strata and the, the Wood Stringer, it really has a lot of pop. We softened up the edge on this one because we, we did keep the same profile of the board, and that. With that hard edge of the original Merrick, it was it would catch really easy, and you know, on your on a spin trick or landing out in the flats, something you could catch an edge. So we did soften this up because you know not everyone can ride off a big trick like Rusty can. My shape comes in the 145, 140, and 135 this year. There was definitely a lot of uh, back and forth prototypes and uh, change this, do that, and you know until it was like the third or fourth, third or fourth time going back and forth with the prototype is that that's when it was like, okay, the new shape, this is the shape. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like you know there were certain tricks that became easier. I don't even want to ride my old board now. It's like I want this thing yesterday, you know, and I ended up riding. Uh, like the last four contests of the year on my new shape just with last year's graphics. So that's a testament to how much I love the new shape for sure. <laughs>